I live in North America, as you know, and we, our community starts the, um, the month of Ramadan based on um, the astrological calculations through the uh, FIC Council of North America. And mm -hmm. I, I can see on their website that they have, they have calculations for the start of Ramadan, not only for 2022, but all the way up until 2024. And uh, based on the, 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 the Quran and the authentic Sunnah, I am under the assumption, or I, my understanding is that it is that the start of Ramadan is strictly based on the sighting of the crescent and the ending of Ramadan as well is based on the sighting of the crescent. Am I, hmm. but I also, I, I believe that I'm supposed to follow what the community does. Will I be I, sinful for not, for starting Ramadan at this time based on those astrological calculations, Sheikh? Well, let me uh, correct it and say astronomical calculations. And also, this is for us as Muslims as means of assisting to find out the closest date, not the exact one. In other words, Abdul Hadi, and since I was a chaplain in the American prisons, Sometimes ISNA or the Fiqh Council of ISNA would announce based on the calculations, Ramadan for 2050 will be whatever. So say Ramadan 2020 will begin on that date. But when we make an effort with the moon citation, it started a day earlier. So in this case, that takes precedence and it obligates the calculation. So the calculation is perfectly okay to give me uh, an idea. But the idea and or the concept of going out to sight the moon is itself an act of worship, okay? And if the Fiqh Council in the USA say that all Muslims in North America should abide with the statement of the Fiqh Council, then it is more worthy to follow whichever Muslim country that sights the moon first, because if you think America or North America is one country, it's actually a continent. And each state of it, some of the states are bigger than multiple Muslim countries. So if you adopt the idea of the unity of the Matala, which says that if one state or one city was able to cite the moon, then that should be generalized all over North America. I would say, I love you, thank you much. Thank you so much. And meanwhile, we should generalize this view. And we should say if people in Yemen were able to see the crescent, an honest and trustworthy committee were able to see the crescent, then I am in the USA as a Muslim, I should abide by that. That is the opinion of ikhtilaful matali'a. Every community, they get to see the moon. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, sumu li ru'iyatihi wa aftiru li ru'iyatihi. So what counts for us as Muslims in order to begin fasting or to break our fast and celebrate Eid the following day is the moon citation. Having a astronomist and giving us the dates does not mean that this is fixed because it happened before that the uh, date was announced Ramadan started a day earlier because we were able to see the crescent. So it is okay to use it as an assistment, as an assisting means, but not as a determining mean. May Allah guide us to what is best.